Welcome, dear traders! You are watching a recap of the Asian session. The Japanese stock market reached the 17 months high amid the Bank of Japan's pledge to maintain a soft stance. Stock markets in Australia, New Zealand and China incurred moderate losses. After sluggish trading on Wall Street yesterday, US stock indexes remained almost unchanged. Trading volumes are low now as traders expect the results of the talks between Joe Biden and Republicans over the debt ceiling. The negotiations are scheduled for Tuesday. President Biden regards raising the debt ceiling as a not negotiable. Republicans, led by Speaker of the House of Representatives Kevin McCartney, still favor sharp spending cuts. Joe Biden strongly disagrees with such an opinion. To take uh, away promised stimulus before the next presidential race is a losing strategy. It will inevitably affect his rating. As a result, the standoff over the public debt persists. The negotiations between Republicans and Democrats are still far from any success. Given the sluggish growth of the U.S. stock indexes on a Monday, traders do not believe in a default scenario. On the contrary, they expect policymakers either to avoid default or to raise the debt ceiling. This week, several Fed members will make speeches. However, their recent comments did not bring any clarity. Rafael Bostic and Austin D. Colsby believe that the Fed should take a pause in aggressive tightening. Neil Kashkari expressed the opposite point of view. Thomas Parkin also supported further tightening. I don't see the urgency of making a different decision because of financial stability risks, he said yesterday. As widely expected, the US dollar reacted sharply to the hawkish comments of Fed policymakers. At the start of the Asian session, the US dollar index managed to jump to 102.6 raises its main rivals. However, the bullish momentum waned quickly due to uncertainty over the debt ceiling. Fresh macro starts also pushed its price down after the short-term rebound in the morning. It slid in the downward range of 102.30 and 102.60. However, this short-lived uh, rise indicates that the greenback could eventually resume an upward movement as a safe haven asset and the world's main reserve currency. Its trajectory will depend on the news about the debt ceiling and other events. China's economic reports also have a huge impact on the sentiment in the Asia-Pacific region. The world's second-largest economy is still unable to fully recover after several years of strict lockdowns. Apart from fears about a default in the United States, investors were disappointed with the China's macro stats. Industrial production in the country grew by only 5.6% on annual terms. Although the April figures turned out to be better than the previous ones, they missed a market forecast of 10.9%. Hence, the Chinese economy is expanding at a slower pace. China's weak economic data significantly affected the exchange rates of Asia-Pacific currencies. The yen usually grows amid the decline in the yield of U.S. government bonds and the U.S. dollar. Of these factors helped the yen climb in the morning. Both the two-year and ten-year treasury notes are in the red zone on Tuesday morning. The U.S. dollar also lost ground. The yen was moving in the price channel of 135.7 and 136.1. Given the mixed external factors, it maintained a bullish bias uh, thanks to the Bank of Japan's ultra low stance. In the Asia session, the dollar yen pair fell to 135.80, moving in the bearish price corridor. The Australian dollar did not react uh, sharply 
to China's fresh economic data. It rose to 0 0.6690. In the morning, the uh, OC ex experienced the two sharp drops after each decline in output movement followed. The USD pair was a trading in the range of 0 0.6665 and 0 0.6712. At the end of the Asian session, its growth looked more like consolidation. Here's the bulls are not ready to give up. So they are just waiting for strong drivers to boost the green back. The OC tumbled due to risk aversion on Wall Street and China's negative macro starts. It managed to rebound to meet the US dollar's weakness, which triggered an increase in oil prices. However, it regained ground thanks to the Reserve Bank of Australia's unexpected rate decision. The regulator raised the key rate by a quarter of a point again today. And moreover, the central bank hinted at a new rate hikes because of a persistently high inflation. Compared to the volatility of other currencies, the trajectory of the New Zealand dollar remained quite stable. The Kiwi has been growing gradually since Monday. At the end of the Asian session, it touched 0.6253. It managed to enter the bullish range of 0.6227 and 0.6258 amid the weaker US dollar, as the latter will hardly advance until the decision of the debt ceiling is made, the Kiwi may try to rise higher. And that's all for now. Please leave your comments down below and see you soon.